Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about nested or child routes. Nested routes are routes within other routes. The Angular allows us to nested routes under another child routes effectively creates a tree of routes. So let's see how we can create child route or nested route and display the child component. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, let's create some component. Okay, so switch to the command prompt and here just type a command for creating new component which is ng space g space c and uh, folder name directory name which is component so just write here uh, component all right slash component name let's say component name is products all right now press enter All right, products component has been created. Now let's create another component. ng space g space c components forward slash and the component name is product. Okay, this is for single component. Okay, and this is for multiple product. Okay, so just write here component slash product. Now press enter. All right, and here also create two more components for the nesting inside the product component. Okay, so just uh, uh, type here uh, uh, command ng space g space c components. And let's say component name is overview. Okay. Now press enter. And our last it is DTS component. Okay. Now press enter. All right, all four uh, components have been created. Now switch to the project and inside this project, just open app-routing.module.ts file. All right, and inside this file, first of all, import all four components. So here, just write import products component, component, from just write here the path of this component okay so just write here dot slash components slash uh, products product slash product products dot component all right now import the product component so Product component from components product not products product and uh, product uh, product dot component. Now import the overview component overview component from components and overview then overview dot components all right 
and last details components so just right here overview details okay details component from this path okay component slash details slash details dot component all right now just here add the route so put here the comma and inside the curly bracket just write here path and let's say path is products all right and component name component name is product component all right one more route path product slash pass the parameter id component and component is product component okay single product all right now save this file and go to the product.component.ts file so just go inside this product and open products.component.ts file okay and here uh, let's create a products property okay so just write here products and create an array and inside this array pass some project uh, as a product object okay so just write here id let's say one name on the laptop all right now just copy this change the id okay and here let's say mobile tablet all right okay now just go to the products.component.html file and here just print the all products okay in list so just write here I'm just going to write here products in the list. Okay. And change that into H1. Alright. Now here just add the UL tag. And inside this UL add the LI tag. And here add the NG4. So just write here asterisk NG. Four and here let product of this one product okay and inside this li just print product dot name all right now save this file. Alright, now let's check it. So switch to the browser and here just type products press enter and you can see here the product list laptop, mobile and tablet. Okay, now let's create uh, a link here. So first of all create a function inside this product.component.ts file uh, just input here import router 
from at the rate angular router okay. and inside this constructor it's right here private router colon router and inside this ng on init function uh, no let's create another function okay let's say function name is public go to product all right and here just add two parameter first is url and second is id and here just write this dot router dot navigate and inside this just pass the array and put here the url id all right now let's bind this function to the this one okay so just create a link here anchor tag and uh, just write here link the link router link sorry router link router link and here add the click function click is equal to uh, just copy this function name and paste here and inside this just pass here products and second parameter ID okay so just write here product dot ID all right now close the anchor tag and just cut here from here and paste here all right now link created okay now save this file Now just open product.component.ts file. Okay, so just go inside the single product and uh, in this directory just open product.component.ts file. Okay, and here just create a new property which is product. Let's say default value blank. All right. Now here just import. Activated route from and the rate angular router. That's it. All right. Now inside this constructor, let's write here private. Route colon activated route. All right, and inside this ng on init function, just write here this dot product id is equal to this dot route dot snapshot dot params dot id. All right, this id. Okay, parameter. Now save this file and uh, just go inside the product.component.html file. And here, just write inside the h1 tag selected product ID 
and just print inside the double curly curly bracket just write here product this property product id just copy and paste here all right now save this file now let's check it so switch to the browser and here you can see the link here added okay now just click on laptop you can see here selected product id 1 if i click on this one selected product id 2 and here selected product id 3 all right Now let's create child route. Okay, so just just open app dash route dot module dot ts file. This uh, this one and here inside this route just add here comma and uh, write here children colon and create an array here and inside this array just write the child route okay so just write here path let's say path is overview and comma component component is overview component okay and write here capital o overview uh, this component so just copy all right one more route path details and component name which is detail component okay details component all right now save this file And now let's add two link inside the this product single product so just go go to the product.component.html file and here uh, just create two link here so just write here the tag router link is equal to router link is equal to blank and let's say class btn btn dash primary and set the margin right pixel okay now add here the text overview okay now copy this and paste here change the text detail all right Now let's create a function inside the product dot component dot ts file just here public go to product and inside this just pass here here three parameter url id and component name okay and here uh, first of all import the router so just write here router comma this and here just add private router colon router all right now here just write here this small case this dot router dot navigate and here inside this array just pass here url id and component name cmp all right Now just 
copy this function name and add with this link so just bind the click event so just write here inside this parenthesis click is equal to double quote and just paste the function name go to product and inside this just pass here the URI, URL which is product second parameter which is product ID product ID this one okay so just copy and paste here and third parameter is component name which is overview okay now just copy this and paste here and change the component name which is detail all right okay now just here add the router outlet and just close it now save this file all set so now let's check it so switch to the browser and here compile successfully and now just click on laptop you can see here two button overview and details okay and just click on overview and you can see here the component overview and if i click on details you can see here the details component okay so in this way you can use nested or child routes in angular 10 so that's all about angular 10 nested or child routes so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching